What's up ladies and gents, Frederick what is up here with another video review, this time on Transformers Generation Sites Return Deluxe Class Chrome Dome. And uh, you know, just get this out of the way, here's his card, it's Chrome Dome, and he's getting his head put on. It's Chrome Dome, here's the tech specs for Chrome Dome with Stylor. Hey, card out of the way, and uh, yeah, here's Chrome Dome, I, in my opinion. He is the best Titans Return Deluxe I own as of right now. I mean, I don't have Trigger Happy, I don't have Top Spin. I do plan to get those guys, I just don't have them with me now, but so far, Chrome Dome really is a really good figure. Um, and that may just be because he's a heavy, heavy rebuild of uh, Prowl. Of the Prowl, Dead, and Moltron Combiner Wars, and it really paid off with this figure. Anyway, let's go look at the details. You've got nice, um, transparent windshield. Windows going around the car, except back here, where it says painted black, and on the back you got nothing. Uh, he's got beige and some brown to break up the, the, the. He's got some beige to break up the browns, which are not really different shade. I think this is just brown plastic, and this is just uh, that beige plastic painted brown. But you know, what are you gonna do? Bumblebee's got like 50 shades of yellow, and Blur Blur's got like 50 shades of blue. But um, you know. Story of these figures, they need more paint, and they got nice details going on. Nice Autobot symbol, nice silver with the red. I think these are stickers? Or they're just template, I'm not sure. This this looks like a sticker. This red bit here looks like a sticker. Um, and that's really about it. Red roof. And the tires or wheels are actually done in the same transparent transparent plastic as a, the windshields. And you go to the other side, you pretty much see how the robot's going to work. And he does, in fact, roll really well. I am in love with this figure. And, you know, just for some comparisons, here he is with Motormaster. Quick comparisons. And, here he is with the man himself. Here he is with the Dead End Prowl Mold. It, it, it's really, like, in transformation-wise, it's similar. And, uh, robot mode-wise, it's, it's similar as well. But, like, right now, you really can't tell that these, these figures are the same. Because of the design. Anyway, his accessories, he does come with Blur's gun, because he also has a bit of Blur in him, I think. I mean, like, Blur is slowly becoming the new Alpha Bravo of this line. I mean, they already have Blur, we have um, Brainstorm, we have Nautica, and maybe Cup, I don't know, but so far, Blur's got this gun, Brainstorm's got this gun, he's, this guy's got this gun, and Nautic's got this gun. There are more, there are more Blur repaint, there are more gun repaints of, there are more repaints of Blur's gun than Blur's himself. This is the new Alpha Bravo of Titan's Return. Anyway, he also comes with this big gun with the gap in here for the Titan Master, which, the Titan Master he comes with is Blur's Titan Master. This is Stylor, it's just got a different head, but it's cast in red and brown plastic. You can tell by the head that it's pretty much Blur's Titan Master. Like, the, like all the, like, physical, like, uh, sculpt-wise, it's all the same. Just no, barely any paint on it. And, you know, articulation. He's got head, ball joint, shoulders go up and down. He's got hips and knees. And, uh, yeah, he can sit in the gun. He can sit in the gun. I mean, like, you got the big tap in, in, on his on the heels that tab in, that plug into this gap right here, and then you got the two slots in there. They'll tap the two tabs right there. They'll tap into these two slots back here, so he can ride the gun, and then you could probably take this gun alone and just plug it on top, and then you could take the two slots on the bottom of this gun right here and plug it into the slots on these two tabs up here, and bam, you've got little thing going on here. You also got some paint. You could also get some. This, the paint also kind of scratches off. I think. It looks like it that way on the back. Anyway, you can store the gun, gun like this. Like I said, you can take this gun and just plug it into the sides of the car. You can even take this gun and plug it into the sides of the car. Although that would just be like a this stopper. And then you can take little blur Titan Master. I'm sorry for the uh, draining of uh, enthusiasm and charisma. It's this Blur's Titan Master just kind of kills me on the inside. Still a good Titan Master, but it just kills me. Anyway, you can put... <clears throat> Excuse me, oh my god. Oh, before we get him into the car, we'll have to do some size comparisons. Here he is with a Joe, a G.I. Joe. 
Here he is with Hank. And here he is with Little Legends Hot Rod. Not little anymore. Anyway, you can take Little Chrome Dome here. You can take Chrome Dome here if you move his arm. You can take these sections, bring them back up, bring them up like this, close this section back up. And you can see there's a nicely molded, there's a nice seat here with molded, nice molded detail. You can take Chrome Dome's little style lore, put him in a seated position, just plunk him in there and the car, and close the car back up. And he's riding in the car. He, um, he doesn't have into, into anything, unfortunately. He just, he's just sitting, just sitting in there. All loosey goosey, so if you wiggle any if you wiggle the car you'll wiggle him as well. He'll probably get like severe head traumas. But hey, he needs it's Hasbro's fault here. They didn't have him in properly. Anyway, with all that law with all the law issues with all the uh with all that law BS out of the way, we'll just get Chrome into robot mode. And you know, transformation is very similar to the uh, Powell Dead End transformation, so we'll just get to the transformation right now. First, we're going to take these side pieces and bring them out like this. Give more room for the legs to open up and, oh, first, before we move the legs up, out, we're just going to take this section, untab it, bring it all the way back, and uh, these two tabs under the windshield will tab into these two slots right there, like so. And then we're going to fan out his legs and just fold them out like so. Close it, close it back up, separate them, and fold, up, fold out the feet. And then we're going to rotate the waist 360. And there we got his legs done. We're going to raise the camera up now because this is where it gets very apparent that this is a Prowl Dead End remold. The heavy Prowl Dead End remold. We're going to take this hood section and bring it back. And then we're going to take this section, this chest section, and these two tabs under here will tab into these two slots down there. And boom, there's his chest. Bring the arms all the way up. And then next, what we're going to do is we're going to bring this, we're going to bring this hood section down. We're going to make it so that it folds on this hinge. This is going to fold on this hinge, and then this little slot right here will tab into that. While subsequently, it swings down on this hinge down here, and, it, and these two slots will tab into these two pet tabs right there. And the only way to get it like that is to get like the arms all the way oriented up properly, otherwise it just won't. Next we're going to take the uh, arm, hands, fists, and just bring them out. They're on the detent, much like the prowl. And we're pretty much done. We just need to take a little uh, styler here, fold him into head mode. And just plug him in. And there we go. There is Chrome Dome in his robot mode. Very nice looking robot mode. I love the look of this robot mode. It's very Chrome. It looks a lot like Chrome Dome. Not like, not like Chrome Dome from the comics. But hey, it's Chrome Dome. And, um, yeah. If you want a IDW style Chrome Dome, try finding the uh, TFCC Chrome Dome. I wish you luck on that hunt. Anyway. Here we've got a chrome dome, head sculpt, focus, it's just, it's very chrome dome, very blue and orange and you know, there, there are the rumors of, the, there, the, there's the, uh, the variants at Walmart, at some American Walmarts that have the uh, Takara head, head, whether that's a blatant accident, uh, just that, whether that's a blatant accident in the uh, factory or that's something they came up with, I don't know. But they, there's that variant, happy hunting with that as well. And you know, overall, just it's very Prowl Dead End, but it's, cream, it's still Chrome Dome. I mean, granted, you've got these back sections right here that are just chunky, chunky, chunky back legs. But I could get past that. It's a very nicely designed robot mode. And his articulation, his head can do a full 360, and you can wobble. And not like bobblehead, not like bobblehead scourge, but he can wobble, wiggle his head around. I mean, that's that's like... This is like the most range on the time to turn head that ever. Shoulders do a full 360. They go outward and inward. You got a bicep swivel, elbow joint, uh, detented, slight detented wrist, waist swivel, hips go forward, backward, outward and inward. Thigh, sw thigh swivel, knee joint, and you can blow out his knee. Oh God, you can blow out his knee. You can you can uh, give him. You can give him the Seth Rollins treatment. You can blow out his knee, and he'll just be out for a year. He'll be he'll be away from the lost light for an entire year, 
only to come back jacked up. Anyway, and the feet can bend up and down. So very posable. He's not as posable. He's as posable as he needs to be. And you can take his guns and you can. He can hold them. You can like. You can take this gun. You can make it hold it like this, or you can take the side panel, or you can pop his entire wrist out. I'm not sure if like the detented wrist thing is supposed to be as like as um as a uh, soft as it is, but I when I give him this kind of a handle, it just it's not a it's not a tight fit and it doesn't it's kind of scares me sometimes, but it won't result in a complete breakage. It won't like rip the hinge out like hinge connectors out entirely. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. It won't break his wrist is what I'm trying to say. Anyway, for comparison. Here he is with Motormaster. And here he is with Prowl. So if we just get his guns off of him, you can very much tell, you know, this is just a straight up Prowl remold, re reconstruction. It's almost like, this is, the, this is the sandstorm to his Springer. So, you know, chest section's remolded. They have to, whereas this one's just the single, like, bra. This one's an entire like one piece, one piece, swims, one piece, yayo yayo. Uh, uh, this is the entire one piece. Uh, the waist is remolded. Uh, the hips are remolded. The legs are remolded, obviously. Uh, the back section, they, they share the back section, except like Chrome Dome gets it much more like, it gets it more angled downwards because of the windshield. Whereas this one, whereas Prowl is just like the windshield thing. Um, they even remolded the wrists. Uh, this this design element right here on the shoulders is very much the uh, is very much the same. Just remolded. Uh, even the forearms are remolded. Okay, let's see. Oh, <laughs> they even remolded the uh, they even remolded the elbow thing. So yep, you it's it's a complete reconstruction of it's an entire reconstruction of the mold. And it works wonders, especially for Chrome Dome. And that's pretty much it. If you, I, 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 I love this figure. That's just my opinion. If you don't like this figure, well then, um, you know, you have your opinion. You don't like it. You don't like it. It's uh, is it comic style? Is it like a IDW styled? Not really. No, it's not really. Oh, sorry, I knocked the camera. It's not very, um, it's not very, uh, Lost, uh, Lost Light style, it's not very more than meets the eye style, but it's a chrome dome, and it's there, and it's here to, um, be chrome dome, and it works, it works really well, in my opinion, it's one of the best of the Titans Return Deluxes, and it's the best Titans Return Deluxe I own, so, yeah, that's it, bye.